In this example, we are going to police incoming traffic from our web servers. So one of the ways that you can capture and mark traffic is by looking at the source. And what is that source? Well, here they're telling us it's a web server. Okay, what do we know about a server? Oh, it has a MAC address, so I could look for the MAC address. So my class map that I've labeled, or we've labeled www.123.com, is gonna match the source address and the MAC address of the server. So that 123.com, so that MAC address is what I'm gonna search for. Then we can also put another class map statement in to match the second server, the 456. That's a, you know, that's a simple, easy way to make sure that we are capturing so that we can mark that traffic from those web servers. Now we go into our policy map configuration mode and we say what we're gonna do with that traffic. So the policy map is labeled a server farm. And it's a couple servers, yeah, it's a server farm. And so we say that the www.123.com, that server, is going to get a little bit more because <laughs> it's going to be policed to, remember, it's kilobits per second. So it's 512,000 kilobits per second in the conform action. And an exceed action is going to just drop the traffic. So in a conform situation, we transmit. In an exceed, we drop. Server 456, getting a little less because it's only getting 256,000 kilobits per second for its conform action. So we receive that, we transmit it. When we exceed, we drop, right? So now we've set up, this is the traffic we're matching. This is what we're gonna do to it. And then we apply it to the interface. So this fast ethernet zero slash zero interface is going to have a service hyphen policy input because it's incoming called server farm. So we take the policy map name that we created and apply that in the service hyphen policy command to state that's what we're following to allow this traffic through.